Hello everyone, what is up? It's me, Dolly, and welcome to my channel! So in today's video, we will be ranking every single Live Doll line that they made. I feel like this one sort of is an essential video at this point because I think the first video I uploaded on my channel was actually like a Live Doll unboxing in a way. I basically got one off eBay and I just did an unboxing. Now technically, this isn't my first channel, however, it is my first one to reach a thousand subscribers! That's right, I got a thousand subscribers. I have no microphone because I upgraded my phone and it turns out that my microphone actually doesn't work with uh, my phone anymore so I need to buy a new one and I don't get paid for the next three days but I need content so unfortunately this is going to sound like trash but I just want to say thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers I really really appreciate it I've got some things I'm working on and I can't wait to show them with you today's video will be ranking live doll lines and i'm going to be honest as a live doll fan i literally love live dolls i feel like i'm probably one of the last people here alive on this planet who still likes them the way that i do um and if you're one of those people let me know you should totally subscribe because i'm probably gonna be making some more live doll videos in the future but with all that being said let's get started with the video and ranking the first doll line i cannot wait Okay, so real quickly, I'm just going to go over the tiers that I have. As you guys can see, I ranked the first wave in the I think I like it tier. Um, this is sort of a middle ground where I'm like, it's it's alright, but it could be better, which is why I feel like I put the first one here. I have a lot of nostalgia for this first line because I think when I was younger and I first getting into dolls, like when I was 12 or something, I kept buying like first wave dolls specifically so i have a lot of nostalgia for like the dolls that are in that line but i think like fashion wise it's kind of eh, like i don't know live doll fashion is always sort of iffy but i will say like this line is pretty cute <laughs> i like it i think it's pretty nice but for the other tiers i have obsessed with this which i love it's cute or whatever which is like okay like i see you i explained the third one just smile and wave is like okay okay sort of vibes oh she's serious which is uh, no thank you and pack it up which is an absolute no which i think none of these lines are really going to be in because now that i think about it is there really a lived all line that i genuinely dislike like that i'm not sure <laughs> but maybe we'll find out at the end of this video i think that putting the first wave and i think i like it is a good spot for me i feel like that makes sense for me <laughs> I'm gonna keep this so real with you. If you don't understand why I put this in it's cute or whatever, that is absolutely fine. Like I would totally get that. To be perfectly honest, just like looking at them, the fashion really isn't that much of a step up from the first wave, but somehow it's higher. I just, something about a lot of the looks minus Sophie, wait, no, not minus Sophie, minus Alexis, which is crazy because she's supposed to be the fashion doll. Like she's supposed to be a fashion girly, but she's wearing neon green tights interesting i feel like all those outfits besides that honestly kind of eat like they kind of munch like look at hayden look at daniela look at katie sophie's even kind of munching a little bit too um alexis is really my only one where i'm like ooh. but i have the doll and i just take her tights off and her outfit is like significantly better like i promise swear to god these dolls are adorable <laughs> Honestly, I struggled with where to put this because realistically, where I put it makes sense. But in my mind, I have to give props to Spin Master for finally trying to do something different. I feel like this is one of their most unique lines, so maybe I should have ranked it higher, but I don't know, I'm kind of scared after I talked all that trash about the outfits from before. I feel sort of bad saying that, like, these are kind of camp. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna leave them in just, like, smile and wave, but just know, like, in my heart of hearts, they belong and it's cute or whatever, but I don't know. I'm just gonna leave them there. <laughs> but I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it. And I honestly have the dolls and... Well, actually, no. The main reason they're there is because I just actually... Oh my god, I was trying to think of what it was I hated about this line. They have no articulation in the leg. Like, it's just like a weird... Uh, ankle joint uh for the shoes and then also like the knees don't bend but then they also can't even sit like it's a weird thing that they used for the gimmick of the whole twist and dance thing um so i think that in of itself means that it deserves that because i don't know i was like why did i see this and immediately put it here i like some of these things but after you rebody the dolls if i rebody them then that's 110 percent and it's cute or whatever like it eats guys i'm telling you if you rebody them it's great Making waves is in Just Smile and Wave solely because I find a lot of the bathing suits to be kind of eh, 
and like I don't know I feel like bathing suit lines and like in general are just not really something that really appeals to me like a lot of times they're just like super generic super basic and that's fine it really is but I don't know I just feel like this line doesn't really speak to me very much I will say though that a lot of the faces on some of these are actually really good like I feel like we have an iconic Daniela doll and an iconic Alexis doll from here where they just look fierce for some reason I'm not quite sure why Spin Master all of a sudden was like let's let's make them look fierce real quick like they never I don't know they kind of ate like I will say two of my favorite lip dolls are in this line and it's like the Alexis and this Daniela love them but I'm so sorry I'm gonna have to leave them here simply on the principle that it's a swimsuit line and they're just wearing basic swimsuits i'm so sorry like i don't know like something about it just bothers me and it just goes against my principles and this is such a stupid and personal thing so if you don't get it that's fine <laughs> now you may see this ranking and think what it's kind of cute these looks are kind of fun but let me tell you guys something real real fun about this line right here for you all first and foremost that dress that sophie is wearing is not very cute and i'm so sorry i have to stay on business when i say this i do not like the dress i don't like katie's outfit and i don't really get alexis's outfit given the theme of what everyone else is wearing it doesn't really make sense in the context of this specific thing and i've been saying nothing on daniela because love that dress love that dress down even love her weird little boot with it i think she ate love the hair in theory but when i tell you that it's like complete black bob on the top and it just the ends are blonde choppy like i don't even know how to describe this wig but it looks a mess it is a nightmare wig it is not good and i love a good peekaboo hairstyle i do but this is done so dreadfully that i simply i feel like this is as high as i can put it this is as high as i can put it i can't put it any higher it's it just wouldn't be right it wouldn't be fair to everything else i'm so sorry it's it's gonna stay right here and i think it deserves a spot this is another one where the theory is cute but the execution is not <laughs> um this is one of the later lines i don't even know if this was sold in the u.s when they were falling off and it shows i'm so sorry this is not a very great line <laughs> it really isn't and i actually funnily enough do actually own one of these dolls i got them on ebay i don't know something about the hair quality is somehow a little worse and i feel like live dolls are not known for having good hair quality so the fact that this is a dip is weird like i'm not sure like i literally have like the pink one i so i'm not sure why but the hair is a nightmare and i don't know if it's just my specific one but yeah overall the looks aren't really cute <laughs> and uh i i fear this may be one of the worst rated ones girls get away i'm putting this on just smile and wave it is very very plain i'm gonna keep it real with you i don't know if this was a line that was sold in the u.s either i have never seen any of these outfits i've never seen any of these dolls uh well the dolls is different that's difficult to differentiate between some of them um but these outfits i've never seen those so i'm assuming this wasn't sold in the u.s and this was definitely towards the later end i feel um but i don't know that much about this line i just wouldn't i would not gravitate towards it if i was just a random shopper in the store I would definitely just leave it, okay? Honestly, this line is actually really cute. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on, like, these little dogs, but they just seem so difficult to, like, even find. I found one listing one time, and its face was all scratched up and beat up, and I was still contemplating getting it, just because I know that it's hard to find, much like that deep red Liv doll wig that I've been hunting down. And every single time I get close to finding it, someone buys it before I can. It's just been a constant battle for the past few years of trying to secure this one wig that I want. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so stupid. That's completely off topic this line is cute i'm sorry i like it a lot of these looks are kind of cute a lot of them are kind of camp i like the vibes i think it's adorable and i'm not even a dog person ignoring the fact that they look like terrifying in this promotional picture this line is actually like pretty cute i'm gonna keep it real true i'm gonna keep it in i think i like it because i am actually a strong hater of the color change gimmick i have always been a lifelong hater and actually kind of roots back to this because during the winter time my alexis doll was stuck with a bold red lip i think or was it the light purple pink i kind of forget at this point but the point is she'd be stuck with a makeup type that i did not want and then during the summer it would change again and i it, it was just like i'd be stuck with it forever and it would always irritate me because it's like i don't want the bold lip right now 
okay she's going out to brunch it's not necessary i will say this it is impressive that their whole color change gimmick still works so well because i actually own multiple of all of these and they still do the same thing where they're like one look during the winter one look during the summer i think it's kind of cute but i i just don't like the color change gimmick in general I feel like this line is another one of those that released not in the US, um, or at least not where I can see them. I, she was one I actually found on eBay, it was like 50 bucks, which honestly isn't bad because she's new and in box, but from what I can tell from the eBay listing, um, I don't think the wiki really shared too much on this, but basically they like are sort of like American Girl dolls where like when you lie them down, their eyes close, which I love because I love an American Girl doll. It's a little uncanny on a smaller scale doll, just a little bit, um, so I can't really make it that high. But what I will say is that this line is really fun. I'm definitely going to have to try and find one because that's one of the dolls I've actually never had. And I think that'd be really cute. I gotta see. Maybe I'll spend $50. I don't know. I feel like that sounds crazy. I might have to wait for it to be cheaper. I don't know. I'm not going to spend too much money, but I might get it. I might get it. Maybe. Probably. Honestly, yeah. Okay, so this is actually Liv Doll's worst line. The outfits are so lame. The dolls are so plain. I don't have too much to say about this. This was probably one of the last lines we ever got from Liv, and this is what we got. I don't think this was really- I don't even think we got this. This was definitely- I don't even think this was released in the US. But, um, would I buy one of these? Probably, because I'm kind of a completionist and I'm trying to collect every single Liv doll. But, like, if I wasn't an insane person, then absolutely not. Absolutely not. Honestly, if you're a Liv doll fan, you already knew this was going to happen. This spot- was reserved specifically for Live in Wonderland. When I tell you that this is their best line ever, and the other ones don't even come close, they can't even try to compete with this line. And I know I'm for a fact I'm not the only one who feels this way because they're also the most expensive dolls, which is why I don't have all of them, even though I want each and every single one of them, but it's so hard to get them because people will sell them for like a hundred plus dollars sometimes and it's super stressful. But that's not relevant. Just know this is the best line. And if you ever say anything else about it, I'll be very upset. When girls want to say that Liv Doll's basic, Liv Doll's plain, ba 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 it's always going to come back to this line for me. I'm so sorry. Like, this line, like, she, I don't know what was in the air in the Spin Master Studio. I don't know what was happening. But somehow, they just pumped out this amazing genius idea for this beautiful Liv Doll. I don't know if it was competition with Ever. I don't know what it was. I can't, I can't even comprehend where this came from but i love it so much this line is amazing these dolls are adorable okay so now here's the official ranking of all the live dolls it's about time that i say goodbye since i ranked what i believe were all of them or at least all of them on the live doll wiki that's actually what i used entirely for this video i had so much fun this is so fun maybe i'll do more ranking videos maybe but yeah if you guys enjoy please sure to go ahead and leave a like i would really appreciate it also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss one of my videos and hopefully i'll see you guys next time bye